What a beautiful day to go to the beach. <laughs> I love how you use the beach ramps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm. The cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt, and you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburned easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburned. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect. Now we need something to cover your head. Great. And what else? Right. Cool sunglasses. You're ready to keep playing. Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out, a wave. Yay, it's already yours. Now to the beach. Good, you've done it, kids. Now, snack time. Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, 
That little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish, haven't you seen a Little Mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? <coughs> they do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... a treasure. Whoa! <coughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Full. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? 
Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids! Oh, a giant wave! What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know, Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. That's the way I like it, kids, to wash your teeth after every meal with a little bit of toothpaste is enough. Be careful, Pops. You're going to create a magic portal. Groovy? Oh, a baby dinosaur. Hello, baby. Don't cry. Groovy. Please transform yourself into something, something that babies like. I do not know, a pacifier. <laughs> Groovy, look at your steak, Groovy. You're full of dinosaur slime. What do you say, Pops? Yes, okay. Children, Pops is right. Our little friend has sneaked into the present through a magic portal we have to travel back in time to find their parents. 
Is that all right, little dino? Pops, please open the magic portal. Ready for a time-traveling adventure? We arrived. Welcome to the Jurassic. It turns out that before humans, the Earth was inhabited by these huge dinosaurs. What do you think? <laughs> Groovy, we need a vehicle to escape. No, Groovy, no. Something that goes faster. Run! They are T-Rex, the most dangerous dinosaurs! Good. We've given him the slip. We'd better find the parents of our little friend. This Jurassic is dangerous for a human. Two Martians and a voiceover. And now what? Oh no! Another dinosaur is coming! Luckily, he has come to help us! It's a harmless Triceratops. Oh, it's your mom! What a happy coincidence! Well, kids, problem solved. He can come back to present. This must be his dad. Oh, poor, he has a Flemingon. Of course, as at this time, they did not wash their teeth. It is normal that it hurts. Groovy, could you help him? <laughs> circles, circles, up and down, three times a day, and smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Kids, not so fast. What are you forgetting? Right, you have to brush your teeth. Remember, to the dentist you won't go if you wash your teeth more. Groovy, Phoebe, this is not a place to play with the ball. Careful, you are going to break something. Why don't you stop playing and enjoy the museum? You two love dinosaurs. Pops, you look weird. Are you okay? Kids, do you know what is happening? Hoverboard? Carousel? Broccoli? Surprise egg? Fire extinguisher? Nice try, but I think she is angrier now. Try to blind her with a flash. Kids, what do you think Groovy should transform into to scare the mummy? No, Groovy, transform into a dinosaur. What have we learned, kids? No balls allowed at the museum.
Diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes! Look, a starfish! It's beautiful! <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark! Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle. Haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm, they seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster. Good job, kids! Yeah. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learnt today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. Oh, are you going to the beach? That's awesome. What are you carrying in there? An umbrella? A towel? Sun cream? Armbands? Toys? 
Afloat? Very well. You definitely have everything you need to have a great day at the beach. Broccoli? Radiator? A coat? Groovy? You don't need these things at the beach. No, Groovy. You first need to use the sun cream. You don't want to get sunburned, do you? Look, like Phoebe does. That looks like fun. What's that? A shark? Oh, it was a dolphin. Dolphins are really friendly. Why don't you play with him? Guys, I think someone is calling you. <laughs> Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, Groovy, your Cat Noir one is awesome, too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano! Haha, <laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. There's nothing better than a great breakfast to start the day. Right, Groovy? He has eaten his and Phoebe's. Time to go. Phoebe is so hooked on her new mystery book that in the end, she will be late to school. When you are in a hurry, the best is the tricycle. No traffic jam, no contamination, and you do some sport. 
Oh no, you got a flat tire and we are in a hurry. Who could have been? Good idea, Phoebe. This is a mystery for a super detective. Groovy, Phoebe needs a magnifying glass. Help her. This is a case for Phoebe Holmes and Dr. Groovy. Today, in the Flat Tire Mystery. What a hole! To find the guilty, the first to do is look for clues. What do we have here? Hmm, three clues. First one seems like a dog footprint. Second one, a human footprint. And third, a bird footprint. Where should we start? First one. There we go. Number one clue, dog's footprints. Careful, Phoebe. That mutt looks suspicious. Let's question him. Groovy, transform into a dog and take his bone. Mr. Dog, do you know something about the flat tire of this girl's tricycle? The dog is not guilty. He has an alibi. He is chained. Poor dog, he couldn't leave his garden. It's really late, let's hurry up. First clue wasn't good, let's continue with the second one. Second clue, human's footprint. Another false clue. These are Phoebe's footprints on her way from home. Third clue, bird's footprints. Mystery solved. It has been this woodpecker that has pierced the wheel with its beak. It's elemental, my dear Groovy. Let's go, kids. There's no time to lose. The mystery has been solved, but not the problem. We can't use the tricycle, and you have to arrive to school on time. Have you thought the same as me? by the skin of your teeth. Remember kids, if you want to arrive on time, you have to leave with time. You never know what can happen on the way. No clues are needed to know that this mischief has been Phoebe's idea. Elemental, my dear children. What are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids! Groovy the Martian, official channel.